Retain gang, what's poppin', man? So for this episode, I want to speak on hair because when I was growing up, I was always told it had no significance. You know, in school, they would teach us that your hair was just dead skin cells or dead cells that grow out the top of your head. Your hair was just there to keep your head warm, you know, and I really believed these things until I started growing my hair out for myself. And I noticed a lot of strange things started to happen. You feel me? So we're going to talk about it. Before we get into it, though, make sure y'all smash that like button for me. Make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss none of this fire. You feel me? Check out my course, my 30-day course. That's going to help you out on your journey. Whether you're new or you're advanced, you're going to learn some new techniques and learn about yourself in the process. I also have a community that you can join if you're looking for a soul tribe. You're looking for a place where you can speak your mind. You know, a lot of us, we can't talk about the things that we think or we feel with the people around us because they don't understand. So this is a great place for you to be able to express yourself with people that do understand. We do weekly live calls and discussions. I have some courses available as well on there. And it's just a good vibe, man. It's a great investment for you. So check that out. I'll leave my links in my descriptions, right? Um... When I started growing my hair out, I noticed one thing started to happen and I started becoming more confident in myself, right? It says that your hair represents strength. It represents vitality, right? Growth, new beginnings. So I started to feel this energy as soon as I grew my hair out. You know, I was about 18, 19 when I grew my hair out. So this is around the time where I started getting into conspiracies and learning about behind the scenes what's going on in the world. You feel what I'm saying? And I don't think that's a coincidence because before I wasn't tapped into that. But as soon as I started growing my hair out, I started gaining these new light codes or downloads. Right. So that's another strange thing that happens is you receive information. These are your antennas, all right? You know, it's not just something that grows on your head to keep your head warm. If that was the case, we would have hair all over our body. You know, look at a bear, for instance. A bear has fur with thick hide underneath it. And that's like a permanent coat. And it also acts as body armor, you know? So it wouldn't make sense for us to have just hair on our head and not the rest of our body. Feel what I'm saying? So there has to be a reason. Remember, everything is on our body for a reason, right? From your toenails to your eyelashes, everything is there for a reason and it has a function and a purpose, okay? The universe doesn't create something for no reason. It's just that we're not tapped in or we don't have the knowledge of what that reason is. So these antennas will pick up information in your environment, okay? Your hair is actually connected to your nervous system. Your hair is actually connected to your nerves and your nerves are connected to your nervous system, which is your spinal column, all right? And this is how you're, you're able to communicate throughout your body, right? If I lift my hand up, that's a signal. That's communication from my mind to all the nerves, to the muscles. My brain says, hey, lift the hand up, right? And it happens instantly. So your hair is an extension of that. Your hair is the the communication system for your environment all right so for example this is a strange thing that happened to me a few times i'll have my headphones on you know and i, I might be walking out the store or i might be crossing the street and i'm not paying attention you know what i'm saying that's on me yeah you're supposed to look both ways you know you know that's on me but there will be a car coming right and i'm not paying attention but a spider sense will go off, like, look up. And then I'll look up and see a car coming. You know what I'm saying? Now I got my headphones on, so my senses are occupied. So what was that that stimulated me to look up or told me to look up, right? My hair is giving me information. So this is your spiritual protection as well. You know, it protects your crown chakra. This is why it grows up here. Cause your crown, this is the, the mainframe. This is the computer. You see, so you'll notice that you receive information a lot faster. 
right? When you grow your hair out. And even if you don't have hair on top, you know what I'm saying? Some of us bald head, you know, I understand, I get it. But this is why we grow out the beard, right? Especially for the men. You grow out your beard, your mustache, your peach fuzz, if that's all you got, you know? But those are your antennas. They give you information. They give you light codes. They let you know what's going on around you. Having, having long hair or the beard also what it does is it strengthens your electromagnetic body around you. So it's stronger, it grows. This is why um, you'll see like a lot of women are attracted to men with hair. You know, trust me, I know from experience, like people want to touch your hair. You know, they just they find you more attractive, but it's not just a physical thing. It's an energetic thing. It's a spiritual thing. OK, another strange thing that happens when you grow your hair out is you become more empathetic. Right. See, I'm already empathetic. I already have a lot of intuition, but I noticed when I grew my hair out, I feel things a lot deeper. It's almost eerie. It's almost to the point where I can almost sense people's thoughts, you know, just by their vibe or their emotions. I can feel what they're thinking and what they're going through on a deeper level. And the funny thing is, is like I never noticed these things until recently when I went through my awakening, when I started really tapping into the, uh, the perks or the effects of having long hair, even growing out my facial hair. You know, I didn't really understand like how I was tapped in, how it affected me until I started to experience these things, right? And if you don't believe me guys, you know y'all y'all remember those uh those those TVs, those old TVs with the cheeks in the back, right? When you touch a screen, it shock you. Right? Well, if you if you put your arm next to those TVs, right? The hairs on your on your arm will stand up. So why would your hair on your arm respond to static? That right there lets you know that it's not dead, but your hair actually is an antenna that receives electromagnetic frequencies. That's why it stands up. Or when you're afraid or you're spooked out, right? The hairs on your arm stand up. That's a response. If you ever watch those hunted shows where they're chasing ghosts and the guy will be like, oh man, the hairs on my arm are standing up that means there's paranormal activity around all right so your hair picks up electromagnetic energy so this is your spiritual protection as well it's going to strengthen your aura i notice when i have my hair i don't really get sick often i don't really run into too much trouble right i find myself making the right decisions you see and that all comes with it because you're tapped in. Remember, this is your crown chakra. Your crown chakra taps you into the divine or the source. So you're able to communicate with the most high. You're able to communicate with the universe a lot more efficiently as well. You know, there's a study that the military did when they had the natives with long hair. They used them as trackers because they had a sense of direction um, whenever they had their hair. But when they shaved them bald in the military, they didn't have that intuition or that sense of direction anymore. Right. You can look this up. This is a, a known study. So hair has always been known to be something that's significant within us. Remember, you are a walking piece of technology. Right. This is a vehicle that you have. So your hair is just just a component or a feature of this technology. Right. I'm not saying that if you don't have hair that you can't be spiritually adept or intuitive. That's not what I'm saying, but it's a feature that helps. It's a natural feature that you have that gives you that ability. All right. Just like if I want to travel somewhere, right? I got a built in phone with a GPS. I can use that. But if I don't have that, that doesn't mean that I can't still travel. There's other ways to find directions to get where I want to go. I can get map quests, you know, go print it off like we used to. I can go get an atlas map and route my my route, you know, with a pen, how we used to do as well. Some of y'all might be too young for that. Get you an atlas map and you got to look at the highways and flip through the different maps and and you had to piece together your, your route. So I'm saying so this is just a, a feature within our technology that we pilot. When you grow your hair out, it helps you to be more creative also. 
It's like you get ideas, you get thought forms more frequently, right? It's like you're able to process thoughts a lot faster too. You know, they used to say when a, when a rapper grow his hair out, that means he about to make a fire album. You know, they're in the lab, they, they working, they grinding. And why do you think they say that? Because when you grow your hair out, you're more creative. You, you get more information. You get more thought forms. You're able to process things a lot faster. You're more connected. You see, these things aren't just happening or, or these sayings don't just come out of nowhere. There's spiritual truth to all these things. Things that we do, man, there's there's some type of everything that we do in life. You know, there's some significance to it. That's ancient. That's information, knowledge that was hidden from us. So we never knew we never were taught. You feel what I'm saying? So another strange thing that's going to happen is you're connected to everything, nature, animals, insects, the weather. You know, you can feel when it's about to rain. You can feel when it's going to be a nice day or you can just feel something in the air. And these are giving you that information. You tap in with animals. Animals come up to you. You know, they they feel your energy. Insects fly around you because your electromagnetic body is buzzing. Right? You're glowing. That's what that hair does for you. The beard does for you. Right? You know, for the people that say that your hair is not significant and it's dead cells, right? If it's dead, if your hair is dead cells, then why do people lose their hair when they have terminal illness? You know, that would make them have more hair, right? If it's dead cells, that means that they should be growing their hair frequently, but their hair falls out. Why? Because these are your antennas, right? These grow from inside of you. They're a, an extension of your nervous system. So if something's wrong within you, it's going to show in your hair, right? What's going on inside is always going to show outside. If your skin is messed up, you know, that's that's an internal problem. If your skin is messed up, that's an internal problem. If you got bags under your eyes, that's internal. Everything that you see, all these signs, acne that you have, whatever, that's an internal sign. That's something going wrong in here. All right. So you'll notice a lot of these things, guys, when you grow your hair out. I've talked about this before, you know, with the avatars and how they show you in that movie that they use their hair to connect with everything. Their hair was a significant part of their communication, you know, with all the all the life forms in nature. You see, so do your own research, guys, and, and come up with your own conclusions on what hair does for you right there's so much information out there and learn by experience you know experience is the best teacher sometimes that's how i learned you know i, I grew my hair out and i started realizing the changes that happened within me and how i started seeing life and as my hair grew longer and longer and longer right i became more wise my memories got better right i can recall memories that i forgot about I can think sharp, quick on my feet. All these things started to happen that was strange at the time, but now I understand why and what was going on within me. All right. So if you think about growing your hair out, man, try it out. Go to beard out, let it grow. Or growing your hair out is gonna make you not only powerful, more attractive physically, but also spiritually, also mentally. Okay, this is you. This is your gift. This is a function that you have within your body. Okay. So I just want to tap into that, guys. Uh, I hope this can resonate with you. With that being said, if you need to speak with me, you need help. I do one-on-one -on -one consultations. So I'll leave my link in my description. Check out the course. Join the community, man, if you want to be a part of a soul tribe. All right. So yeah, let me know in the comment section what you thought about this video. Peace, love, and abundance. And I'm out.